now the good news. That's the topic for TED Global 2010 that I'll be attending. And now the good news. Well, you know, e singularity in my vision for global education is some heck of good news in my, in, in, in my opinion. And the reality is the only thing stomping e-singularity from happening is one thing, only one thing. It isn't the technology, it isn't the content, because we know all the content's there, all the open education, we have 60 years of global television, um, we have huge uh, amounts of money being put into developing education, the content, getting it online. So what is it? Oh, it isn't the infrastructure. We have 80% of the world connected and over the next 10, 20 years, we're going to have at least 50% or more of the world connected with broadband. And in reality, we don't even need broadband. So what is it that is stopping us from educating the world? The answer is paradigm. A cultural paradigm that thinks that education shouldn't be free. That's the reality. And this wasn't ever more evident in a, re if you go to mashup, do mashup free education, you'll see an article by Josh and read the comments. Because there is a paradigm right now that believes that Free education will somehow mean the end of teachers, will somehow mean the end of um, um, universities, and, and there are many who believe, incorrectly, that computers are not as good as teaching as individuals, that you need somehow a live person to teach which is a complete fallacy because anyone who uses technology in education will tell you technology is a lot more efficient than any teacher. I mean, I can show you and you go if you go online and look at my videos, I can show you one class of 30 students learning 12 bits of vocabulary the normal way, the traditional way the teacher directed way and then I can show you another group of students who are a year younger learning 150 and reinforcing 150 vocabulary words so you have to ask yourself which one really is more efficient so going back to the question and now the good news so the good news is all we need to do in order to provide everyone with free education is simple. Change a cultural paradigm. That's it. That's all we need to do. And the reason why I established the, uh, the e-singularity movement is really to do that, just that. Now, every day, more and more people join. Every day, people are getting with it or understanding the reality that, you know, it's not a matter of if education will ever be free and accessible to all. It's a matter of when. And that when is going to come about when basically a shift occurs. And the, same, the, and, and the irony, too, is the same shift occurred with global warming very recently. So I can even point to, if you look at individuals five years ago, talking about global warming solutions and ideas they were laughed at they were they were they were parts of a joke they're product of a joke you know and now billions of dollars are being funded and put into into the idea of uh, geoengineering solutions um, and in that reality that paradigm shift really occurred in a matter of a few years so I have every confidence to believe that the paradigm shift 
will occur in the next five years that yes, we can educate everyone, yes, education can be free, and yes, we're going to do it. And I believe that with a concerted effort, that e-singularity, and I'm not going to strictly define what I mean by e-singularity, e and don't take the, you know, everyone in the world is going to be able to learn, no. But when anyone from any device, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone or a netbook or a one laptop per child, can basically plug into a solution that allows them to learn pretty much anything, that is when e-singularity will have happened. That is the point when the world will forever be changed. And that point is coming.